Hi, my name is Madeline, and I want to be Connecticut's next kid governor. I feel I can make a real difference in our community. I am willing to do whatever it takes to make a positive impact on our community. I know that senior cats and dogs do not get adopted as often as younger pets. According to PetFinder.com, typical pets spend about 12 weeks on adoption sites before finding a new home. Senior pets spend nearly four times as long on the pet adoption site. I want to work to change this. I have a three-point plan to help these senior cats and dogs. First, older pets require more trips to the vet. The American Veterinary Medical Foundation, or AVMA, states that older pets need to visit a vet twice a year, while younger pets only have to go once a year. Frequent visits to the vet can be very expensive. I want to hold fundraisers to raise money for vet bills so people, for people who adopt senior pets. In my school, we will hold a coin drive to raise money for the cause. I, also, I will also encourage my fellow fifth graders to do the same. In the past, coin drives have been a very effective way to raise money. This coin drive will help people to afford the extra vet bills they may get when they adopt a senior cat or dog. The next idea I have is to start a program called Senior for a Senior. Kelsey Palazzo, an Eastern Connecticut State University graduate, said that dogs were brought in to help the students relieve stress before midterm and final exams. This made me start thinking that senior citizens could benefit from visits and animals too. The Senior for a Senior program will work with local retirement homes and animal shelters to adopt or borrow senior cats and dogs. These senior pets will visit with the, animal, with the senior citizens and bring them comfort and joy. They also may relieve stress. The Senior for a Senior program will help save senior pets and will help senior citizens. Lastly, did you know that pets get put to sleep 72 hours after arriving at the shelter? Well, shelters don't want to put young, healthy animals to sleep. Less adoptable pets, that includes seniors, could be put to sleep shortly after this time period. The last part of my three-point plan will be to work with shelters to change the 72 hours rule. I pledge to go to at least three shelters and ask them to change this rule. I am caring, trustworthy, responsible, confident, and hardworking. Saving senior pets is my passion. Vote for me, Madeline, to be Connecticut's next kid governor. A vote for me is a vote for senior cat or dog.